Hey, hey, I know it's not sunny where we are, but just wanted to, you know, come pretty quickly to share my love. Man beyond the smile, keep smiling. Yeah, I just wanted to, today, just something resonated with me because I had my, you know, last last night's mastermind call. I'm on, on, on a community with, with a lot of like-minded people working on our the money story, you know, the money beliefs we hold our dear to, you know. Uh, and then how we really, you know, build our lives around money and the lifestyles and goals and success. So today I just want to talk about failure. What is failure and what, how we are reframing it in our lives, how we see failure in our lives, whether it's failure of relationships, failure of friendships, failure at work, career, you know, uh, and also failure at business. O overall, most of us, most of us men, we don't share this with others or our loved ones. Always feel like there's something missing because we failed at life. Overall, we failed at not cultivating our identity to be the man we we supposed to be, or not even thinking about deserving to be. You know that kind of a old ways of. What, what they define man as a protector who someone actually everyone finds safe around but how many men out there really find safe and comfortable enough to talk about failures in their life so that's what today is all about i'm going to start reframing it you know how i work i i like to reframe mindset concepts i like to reframe life's events into more uplifting awakening and positive way we look at life Right, so more like life happens for me rather than life happens to me. On that same connection, I want to talk about failure is is feedback, really, right? So no one actually thought about that, and then this was came for me last night at the at the at the mastermind. It's amazing to see that, right? Because because everyone says you know after you fail at something, you keep on, you know, you need to quickly learn what we are what we've been taught by that failure in our lives. And quickly jump jump out and to start again hoping we will never make the same mistakes again but how many of us how many of us are we still kind of rewired into making the same mistakes same choices same decisions all the time but because we don't see it like this is a feedback it's a feedback loop right so when I say feedback is not giving your power away to your family members or your partner or your friends or your colleagues, right? Because that is not you're looking for. The validation, approval, acknowledgement shouldn't come from others. So while I, I accept that in goals, in, in goal setting, we all need to have feedback from others. But in this instance, the one person is really key here is you. Yeah, you. The person you look in the mirror when you first get up in the morning, that's the person you really need to be accountable for and to get some feedback by going deep within. So what is, what is, so how do we actually start to do this feedback loop? Yeah, I think I want to connect with it because this is something I really align to my heart and my being because like everyone else, as a man, I struggled over the years of not seeing my failure as a lesson. You know, the lesson and what is life is really teaching me to go within, to actually stop and look at what are the underlying beliefs and, uh, you know, the conditioning is, is being part of my story, you know, the life story, money story, my success story, because life is a story, right? Life is a film, in my opinion, if you are really a film buff like me yeah i think for me that is how i see my life as as like a whole little movie still moving still the kind of a you know revolving around you know different scenes and different plots and it's thickened sometimes plot thicken sometimes the new narratives arise so i think that is what i really wanted to talk about today is this is something very close to my heart i have you know always thought even though i be, i may come across very positive and very you know kind of a sunny guy always you know smiling yeah of course that smile is is a mask for something much deeper of the pain what i was trying to you know fix uh, trying to come out of it by doing all of these fake smiles and fake fake mask as one of them is i really thought okay everything is fine and i was still keep keep going at life but there's always a, there's an underlying toxic stories 
without me realizing it, not consciously, unconsciously and at your subconscious level, I was still reliving my past. The decisions I made, the choices I made in relationships, I was divorced, I couldn't hold on a relationship. Um, so it's always something, you know, I was self-sabotaging, you know, for love, that is the only thing I was looking for in life, but that is the worst thing in my life, to be honest. I was running away from all of that, and in culmination of all of that, as like a chain reaction, as a domino reaction, it started to creeping into my career. Career choices, never felt belonging, always felt like an imposter, not good enough is my main belief I worked on over the years. And, you know, I'm in a much, much better place now, work in progress, really can identify my triggers now very quickly. But that really stopped me in even businesses failing, you know, lost a lot of money, came very close to bankruptcy. Uh, it's just a lot of things culminated by my fear of success and also the fear of my new story, you know. But I wasn't really looking and staying back and looking at my feedback. What is really going on here? I haven't stopped, though. So what I didn't do is, even though I was failing and all, already the, the life has been, been challenging, but I was still going at it without stopping and thinking where the patterns are, where the common trends, where the common themes. So I wasn't really accepting where I, wa where I was, right? Because do you remember my 3A uh, concept and the framework? What I, what I help you know, people with, with, with man behind the smile and becoming a conscious holistic leader is all about, you know, accept, ask, and then align to the person you want to become, right? And yeah, the feedback can be simple as simply sitting down in silence and to see where are the patterns, what triggered some of the decisions I made or financial decisions or the relationship decisions. You know, if you're in a toxic relationship, why you are still there? Right, because your fear of missing out or fear of being alone, is it the right way to stay in a relationship? Same goes for business as well. If you really lost the spark, if you really haven't got any idea about how to build, how to grow the business, or there is no interest, there's you're not jumping out of joy, then you got to really relook. Is it could be the market you're in, or the the business sector you're in, or you really have gone through the course. Of, of, of that business or that venture now it's time to take, take stock and to see where these are going because we can't we, I think in my opinion I have really lived like an experimenter lifestyle I always you know really gone at, gone at things you know being a hustler but it's all great you know that that character characteristics is, is got me where I am but you don't need to go through a lot of failures a lot of heartache and a lot of financial losses like I did because you could really turn this around by asking this honest feedback. Always think, always sit back after a decision you made or after that event has passed or that event has gone through in your life and stop before you move forward in relationship, for example. Yeah, and which I was able to do that because I was what I saw is I was attracting the same type of women in my life, including my ex-wife. And there is a reason I was attracting those women, right? Because that is something I was missing in my life. The core belief of love and intimacy is missing. I wanted to be a good boy, good man. And then hence I attracted certain characteristics and certain personalities of women who are not right for me. But I never took a chance to stop and think, yeah, okay. Because we don't think about it, right? We only think about feedback and all this, some sort of a, you know, the, you know, you know all this kind of a, you know, productivity loop. At work, we don't think about we, we 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 may need to or we should use these feed, feedback loops, and feedback within ourselves by going deep within. So, how many of us can really come out of it bouncing back without making the same mistakes over and over again, right? So, I sat with it. I worked on my personal shadows. I worked with personal shadows in personal relationships to see where the patterns are, what triggers it. How, why, why am I attracting these women? And what do I need to do to stop the trend? So now I can very quickly sense, I can quickly take stock and I can simply ask in these couple of questions which comes out of it naturally now through my inner wisdom to stop the patterns repeating. Again, going back to going to my business now. Yeah, I'm, I'm a master procrastinator. I could sit for months and weeks before I take any action because that comes from a fear of failure, fear of losses. I also run this kind of a story and a theme run right across my life is if I make money, I will lose it anyway. 
which happened in my life. So that put me in a back burner on certain things. I should have really taken action towards my you know, future self. But yeah, that, that is a belief that now I recognize, okay, that is something tr triggering me. So I worked on it. I'm still working on my money story. So that's what my message is to you guys, is to really sit with it, to go in your contemplative mode, to really silence. There's nothing else you can do is by starting by accepting where you are, right? And then, but may, make sure it's very crucial is to ask these feedback questions, where the patterns are before you start again. Because it's very easy to jump back because we're living in a reactive world. We are living in a fight and flight mode of living. But we can't keep on living like this, guys, yeah? As men, we should really think about what are the best conscious holistic self as a man I'm becoming by really slowing down and look at our failures as what it is. Reframe it for what it is. It is a life event that happens. It is a lesson we are learning. And then it is a feedback. It's a fascinating feedback and fascinating lessons, but it is nonetheless, it's a feedback. So every time you've gone through a, you know, life in, in life, you feel like this a failure. Stop. First, forgive yourself. Be kind to yourself is number, number one key. Close your eyes. Put your hand in your heart and breathe and say, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's a quick hoponopono in a mantra. You can do it every time you feel you're hard on yourself with your past failures, which I did for so many years. It's only now in the last couple of years and two, three years, I'm really now becoming kind of a more grounded in myself to see, let things go in my past conditioning and past mistakes and past failures and financial losses, uh, you know, myself and relationships to move forward so that I can attract the wealth, abundance and relationships and money in my life by reframing my life as is a lesson, is a feedback. So my question is to you is, when was the last time you actually asked your inner boy, inner man, for some feedback? It's not too late. Thank you so much, guys.